Hello my fellow and most favorite miner. Today we are going to have a look at how to mine Ergo. Yes, Ergo. You know that cryptocurrency that uh, was worth a lot and then all of a sudden tanked hard? Yes, that one. And the reason is quite simple. This is part of my getting ready for Ethereum 2.0 series. You can check out my playlist. Now, why would I have a playlist like that? Well, it's quite simple. At some point, Ethereum 2.0 comes and proof of work stops. In that case, and when it happens, you'll be ready because you have watched all my videos and you know all the alternative coins you can mine. And in the process, get rich. Lots of money. So you can fill a suitcase with it. Hopefully. I'm sorry. Hold on for a moment. Something is very wrong here. Let's have a closer look at how he's typing. That is gibberish. No one types like that. And what is she doing? She's sitting there counting money. All the bundles look very nice and she's hard at work. And then lo and behold, she's done with a very tiny bundle. It's not even close to the others. Definitely skimming some there. Anyway, as I was saying, we're going to look at how to mine Virgo in Hive OS and in Windows. I'll briefly recommend a wallet, but the majority of the video will be how to tune your graphic cards to get the best overclocking settings. Now you're most likely asking me why should you even watch this video when it's about a poop coin that will never turn into anything. Well, because this guy believes in it. Now let's get on with it. I highly recommend that you use the mobile wallet. It is super easy. You can use it both for Android and iOS. You can find the link in the description. Besides that, if you use Windows, then you also need to download T-Rex Miner. Just the latest version is fine. Again, link in the description. If you want to mine to a nice hash wallet, then please head over to the Stratum generator and select as following. Of course, you can change the region to whatever you please. You can find the link in the description. And then I highly recommend that you uh, get a pair of miners divers because this is going to be very tedious, super frustrating. But only for Hive OS users though. Before you go on and report me to YouTube for not saying that this video was sponsored, then please note this is a fake sponsorship. I made it up myself to look very important. However, if the request is big enough, I'll create a real version and even have a limited RGB edition that will make you hash faster. Quickly moving on like a ninja, uh, we're going to have a look at the RTX 3060 LHR version 2 from Sotag Gaming. It has been working perfectly in very good quality to be honest. The RTX 3060 Ti from Asus, their tough series. No, that is actually the wrong picture. There. Now we have the right one. The graphic card comes with two balls of steel in each fan. Military grade. Yes, yes. A piano was dropped on my head as a kid, so I am legally excused. We also have the MSI Venture 3, which is also an RTX 3060 Ti rocking Hynix RAM. But this time it's a revision 2 and that means it can actually clock up to 1700 in Windows or 3400 in Hive OS. This very nice card is super slim and super noisy. Then we have the RTX 3070 iChill 4X from Eno 3D. It's actually surprisingly good. The quality is top notch. I have not changed anything. It's super cool actually. And then of course it comes with lots of RGBs that you cannot turn off via the software because the software part sucks. But it doesn't matter because more RGBs, more mega hash. Up next we have the RTX 3070 Ti from Sotag Gaming, also known as the DIY 3070 Ti because it drops thermal padding and comes with screws that have fallen out. I actually expected the quality to be uh, on pair with their RTX 3060. Oh boy, was I wrong. What a pile of poop. And then we have the RTX 3080 LHR from Gigabyte Vision Overclock Revision 2. It's actually quite good looking, but I wish you could get it in black brushed metal instead. Even though it doesn't really matter because it's part of my mining rig and I never see it. And now it's time for the last card, the RTX 3080 Ti from Eno 3D iChill X4. Yes, I'm 
very well aware that it looks exactly like their RTX 3070 edition. Um, it is. Actually, the pictures are also exactly the same, so I had to take the one with the box. I said their graphic card is good quality, not their software and definitely not their homepage. That is a very good example of what happens when you take a back-end software developer and put him or her to make a homepage. If you haven't subscribed, Uncle Donkey would very much like you to hit subscribe and afterwards that bell notification. Yes, the bell so you can get spammed even while you sit on the toilet. I mean, who doesn't want to get a random notification at random times around the clock? It is very nice. So remember to hit the bell notification and you will get unwanted messages all the time. It's time to have a look at your clock settings for the RTX 3060 LHR version 2. In HiveOS, I set the core clock to minus 100, the memory to 2600, and when the first hash rate report has been seen, I fire off the NVIDIA SMI command as shown here. For Windows, simply create a batch file based upon what you see here, and the same for nice hash unmanaged. Now let's have a look at the overclock settings for the RTX 3060 Ti LHR with Hynix memory revision 1. In high voice, I set the core clock to 50, memory clock to 2200, and when the first hash rate has been reported, I fire off the NVIDIA SMI command as shown here. If you're using Windows or nice, hand, uh, nice hash unmanaged, simply create a batch file based upon what you see here. Now let's have a look at the overclock settings for the RTX 3060 Ti LHR Hynix memory revision 2. In HiveOS, I set the core clock to 50, the memory clock to 3600, and then I fire off the NVIDIA SMI command as shown here, as soon as the first hash rate has been reported. If you're using Windows or nice has unmanaged, simply create batch file based upon what you see here. Let's have a look at the overclock settings for the RTX 3070 LHR Mining Ergo. I set the core clock to minus 50 and the memory clock to 2500. After I see the first hash rate reported, I fire off the NVIDIA SMI command as shown here. For Windows or nice hash unmanaged, simply create batch file based upon what you see here. Let's have a look at the overclock settings for the RTX 3070 Ti Mining Ergo. I set the core clock to minus 100 and the memory clock to 2900 in HiveOS. After the first hash rate has been reported, I fire off the NVIDIA SMI command as shown here. If you are using Windows or nice has unmanaged, simply create batch files based upon what you see here. Let's have a look at the overclock settings for the RTX 3080 LHR Mining Ergo. I set the core clock to 0 and memory clock to 3400 in HiveOS. After I see the first hash rate reported, I fire off the NVIDIA SMI command as shown here. If you are using Windows 10 or nice has unmanaged, simply create batch files based upon what you see here. Let's have a look at the overclock settings for the RTX 3080 Ti Mining Ergo. In HiveOS, I set the core clock to 100 and memory clock to 3600. After I see the first hash rate reported, I fire off the NVIDIA SMI command as shown here. If you are using Windows or nice hash unmanaged, simply create batch files based upon what you see here. Now let's have a quick look at some of the extra arguments you will need in HiveOS to set it up. Here you can see how to set LHR tune and the auto stepping size. Please note that LHR tune values are highly driver dependent. And here you can see how to fire off an NVIDIA SMI command or multiple as you can see in the blue line underneath. Simply click run, boom, there, done. Congratulations, if you have reached this point it means you haven't skipped on to the ending. Now let's have a look at the average reported results. First up is the RTX 3060 LHR version 2 in high voice. 120.5 MHz per second at 107 watts, which gives an efficiency of 1.126. In Windows, 121.3 MHz per second at 109 watts, which gives an efficiency of 1.113. Let's have a look at the RTX 3060 with Hynix memory, revision 1, low memory clock. In high voice, 132.8 MHz per second at 110 watts, which gives an efficiency of 1.207. In Windows, 132 MHz per second at 111 watts, which gives an efficiency of 1.189. 
high memory clock in high voice. A 155.8 megahertz per second at 153 watts, which gives an efficiency of 1.018. In Windows, 159.8 megahertz per second at 156 watts, which gives an efficiency of 1.024. Let's have a look at the RTX 3070 LHR. 155.7 MHz per second at 128 watts, which gives an efficiency of 1.216. In Windows, 156.4 MHz per second at 132 watts, which gives an efficiency of 1.185. Let's have a look at the average reported result for the RTX 3070 Ti. 180.1 MHz per second at a 170 watts, which gives an efficiency of 1.59. In Windows, 181.4 MHz per second at 169 watts, which gives an efficiency of 1.073. Let's have a look at the average reported result for the RTX 3080 LHR in Hive OS. 225.2 MHz per second at 201 watts, which gives an efficiency of 1.120. In Windows, 225 megahertz per second at 200 watts, which gives an efficiency of 1.125. Now let's have a look at the average report result for the RTX 3080 Ti in high voice. 284.7 megahertz per second at 255 watts, which gives an efficiency of 1.116. In Windows 283.2 MHz per second at 244 watts, which gives an efficiency of 1.161. Before we move on to the profit, please note that there is a URL at the very top that points to where I got the profits from, which we will have a look at in a moment. Also note that you can see the drivers at the very top. Also note that the profit calculations of course have changed by the time you see this. Right now they change faster than I can sneeze. Here you can see all the profits, they are very nice. It has been a while since I've actually mined Ergo and the reason is that it was much better for me just to mine Ethereum and then buy Ergo, which I actually still do. Well, I don't actually mine Ethereum right now after the profits for that crash completely. I'm using a uh, Tonkoin and uh, Alibrium. Those are the two I'm actually mining currently with my LHR cards. I actually still believe in Ergo though, and I think it will be very big as soon as ETH 2.0 is live. And they of course kill proof of work. I understand that many are actually considering setting off their graphic cards and exiting the mining community completely. Um, I hope to change your mind and I think you should check my playlist for ETH 2.0 preparation as it may actually still be profitable for you to mine something else than Ethereum. If you haven't subscribed, now would be a perfect time to do it. If you like the video, then click like and if you want to help me out, share the video with someone. Those three actions actually help me out a lot, my channel grows faster and of course yeah, I feel nice inside when I see I have a lot of subscribers. My daughter told me that I would be a YouTube star as soon as I reach 10,000 subscribers. I have that now, when I actually got it I started singing uh, I'm a YouTube dad uh, in front of her and she looked like, like I was completely retarded to be honest. <laughs> but still it felt good. So a big thank you if you have subscribed. The next video will not be about Ethereum either, or at least I don't think so, unless someone releases a new version with a major LHR improvement and of course a raising fee. Not a hint for, to G minor at all. Uh, it will be some other type of coin that I hope you can earn some money on while the market is down. Uh, that is all for this time, I will see you in the next one.